Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to Look Gorgeous. In this video, I'm going to recreate this look which you can see on your screen right now, which is a beautiful, luxurious kind of makeup look and totally inspired by Mooney Roy, which appeared in Big Boss season 11 in one of the episodes. And I was just so much mesmerized by her look, which looked so much royal, classy, luxurious, trendy. Those classy black smoky eyes with beautiful mauve lips. I know I don't look like her, even I'm not trying to look like her. This is my way of doing the similar makeup and this is what I created. And I'm just starting my makeup with my Look Gorgeous cream, basically, which is really good for the glow and also for open pores, plus for pigmentation and for acne. So I'm just applying this cream all over my face really, really well so that my face is well prepared, prepared for the further makeup steps. And after that, I'm just taking my Swiss Beauty Pores Zero Primer and I'm going to blend it really well onto my skin. After that, I'm going to leave it on my skin for approximately 2 to 5 minutes. By the way, if you like this video, then don't forget to give like and also subscribe to my channel. Then I'm taking my very, 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 very favorite foundation, which is Swiss Beauty Mousse Foundation, which has primer plus foundation both. So I've taken the shade 6 Warm Honey and also I have mixed in shade 4, which is Natural Nude because this creates my perfect shade like this. This foundation is beautiful, high coverage, lovely. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a full review demo kind of thing on this foundation because it actually deserved to be featured separately then i'm using this beauty blender which is really nice not a branded one but definitely it just swells up very very big when we dip it in water and it's really nice and soft helps me in blending my makeup beautifully so i'm just bouncing it well over my foundation to blend my foundation really well then taking the foundation again i'm gonna apply it on my problem areas of my face just to get the more high coverage because actually i'm not gonna go with any color correcting or anything so i need a good coverage even i have not applied any concealer as well now i'm taking this mars 3d balm stick firstly i'm taking this highlighting shade and i'm gonna highlight my under eye areas bridge of my nose center of my forehead around my lips and a little bit on my chin the usual points where the light falls her makeup was all about that matte beautiful look so i don't think there are going to be any shimmers in this makeup look and i'm just blending these things really well wherever i have applied it i'm not going to drag it here and there much but just applying and blending it only at the places where i applied it then the next step which i'm going to do is i'm just going to make this fish face starting from the ear and ending towards my lips then applying little to contour my double chin as well also gonna chisel up my face because Mooney Roy has a beautiful chiseled up face I cannot compare my face with that even after compare, uh, contouring but definitely I can try to look my best she was having a really extremely chiseled up nose um, I don't think I can achieve that ever but Definitely, I'm going to apply it on the sides of my nose as well just to make it a little bit slender and nicer. So, just buffing it really well using my blender. Not going to drag the product at all. Just blending it wherever I have applied it. Basically, I'm doing the contouring wherever shadow areas are there on my face, wherever light does not fall. I'm just playing with the light by highlighting and contouring. Just focusing the light on my high points of my face and avoiding any light on shadows of my face. This is going to make my face look chiseled up, beautiful and that model like. After that, this foundation and this cream product is kind of creamy. So I really have to set it up beautifully and for that, I'm going to use this Swiss Beauty Compact which is just so stunning. It has a beautiful yellow color. But I applied a little too much so I'm just going to blend it and buff it into my skin beautifully with the same puff that I got with this product. 
By the way, these products are available on my Instagram store, which is at Affordable Makeup India. Link will be there in the description box below. So you can check that out if in case you're interested in buying few affordable makeup products. Now, Mooney Roy has beautiful, thick, arched, fuller eyebrows, beautiful, dark brownish, blackish kind of. So I'm just taking the dark brown shade from Miss Claire Eyebrow Pencil, defining my eyebrows, making the arc, then filling in the eyebrows slowly, slowly, gently and beautifully. So I'll just do my other eyebrow as well off camera. Plus, just make sure that the eyebrows, both eyebrows don't have much gap because she kind of had eyebrows which were like very, very close to the bridge of her nose. So that's what I did. And also, I'm just going to blend the product really well in my eyebrows for that natural look by using the eyebrow brush. Now, Moni Roy had beautiful smoky eyes going on. So I'm just taking my very favorite kajal which is Swiss Beauty Gel Kajal. Basically, it's a gel eyeliner in the form of a kajal, which makes it really convenient to use. So I'm just applying it almost all over my eyelids. I'm not going to be very, very much precise, but I've just applied it randomly over my eyelids. Then I'm taking this eyeshadow fluffy blending brush and I'm blending it all up really well on my eyelids only. And also going to take it a little bit outwards. Then I'm taking this brown matte eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on my eyeshadow transition line basically so as to make the whole eyeshadow look blended well together and this black gel eyeliner has given a beautiful base to the upcoming eyeshadow which I'm going to apply just after a minute just take your time in blending this eye makeup is really simple to do very easy yet it feels amazing but just make sure to blend in the products beautifully and if your eyeshadow has any fallouts or anything then just take care about your under eye area and face as well but my eyeshadow palette is from matte look velvet matte magnetic eyeshadow palette and it does not have any fallouts so i'm just working out with this palette just working out the black matte eyeshadow on my eyeshadow area plus taking a little bit on the outer v of my eyes as well so as to create those beautiful cat eyes i'm kind of really happy with how this makeup look was created and achieved and the overall luxury feeling from the look which i had with this one if you also feel so then definitely hit a like give this video a big thumbs up also please subscribe to my channel if in case you want to see more such videos also let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any more celebrity inspired makeup looks or what kind of videos you guys want me to make let me know in the comments down below please and thank you so much by the way for watching till now if you are watching till now <laughs> so just blending this eyeshadow and everything really well taking a little bit black again on my brush and also i'm gonna apply it on my lower lashes not much just a little bit because we have those beautiful bold upper eyelid so i don't want to smoke my lower lashes much then i'm going to use the same swiss beauty gel kajal again near to my upper eyelashes so as to just make a simple aligned look so as to define my eyes more beautifully after that i'm taking the bronzer shade from ads the balm story palette i think all the products which i'm using in this video are one of my favorites just chiseling up my face using this not going to use much of the contour powder but just chiseling up my face with the bronzing powder and also when we are applying the same thing on on our double chins then we should go for contouring powders which have gray undertone rather than the bronzing powders which have orange undertone because that just helps make the look more better and natural as well so just applying it around my face <laughs> around my on my cheek line okay and a little bit around my forehead as well just blending it really well nicely naturally also trying to chisel up my nose furthermore by applying a little bit of contour powder on the sides of my nose actually i applied bronzing powder to be honest but i had to use contour powder around my nose but okay so uh, 
it's all blended now nicely and beautifully now what i'm gonna do is i'm taking this palette again and uh, the powder matte shade from this palette which is a lighter than my skin tone so as to highlight my uh, high points of my face just doing that matte highlighting part and that's it then taking this beautiful mauve shade blush matte blush from the same palette because Moni Roy kind to uh, like seem to have that mauveish kind of blush draping was going on her face like uh, she had kind of blended the blush with the contour line as well then also the blush was going up to her uh, forehead so that's what I'm trying to do and this is uh, like all based on my observation it is not that exact copy of her makeup but I just tried to recreate the look as much as I can and I'm really happy with it as well so I just hope you guys also appreciate it as well just blending the blush beautifully on my cheeks and I'm done with doing that then I'm applying this Naked 3 false eyelashes which just made this whole look beautiful then using my favorite Mion makeup setting spray again this is my favorite product for sure then just letting it dry okay and after that whatever is left behind on my face just taking it away on my beauty blender by the way I'm really sorry for playing with the lighting of my camera because I'm new to it and I'm just learning okay now taking this beautiful glam 21 lipstick in the shade 23 which is a prettiest mauveish purplish color I'm just applying it on my lips this lipstick does not dry out lips at all it gives a beautiful liquid matte finish on lips just like a normal high-end liquid matte lipstick so quite impressed with the results and uh, this is the finished look which you're gonna see right now and by the way I hope that you guys like this makeup look I'm just gonna pair it up with a nice straight smooth hair and my hair cannot be more straight than this so this is what I got and uh, this is the final look and I'm quite happy and I and I'm I know I'm saying it again and again <laughs> okay so if you like it then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more such videos love you guys